What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's so nice to have you today. I have a full week of workouts for you guys and I'm going to be taking you guys through two upper body days, two lower body days and one full body day. I'll be uploading this on a Sunday. So if you guys are getting started for your Monday and your new fresh week, you can use this as some inspiration or motivation to get some tips and tricks, some ideas for what you want to do this upcoming week. If anything with these videos, I'm not trying to prescribe you guys workouts or anything like that. I'm just sharing what I do throughout the week and I just hope to share a little bit of vulnerability and what I look like in the gym between sets and reps because we constantly see a posed aesthetic on Instagram and on social media. So I'm hoping to bring a little bit of realisticness and authenticity to you guys with these videos. And you guys really liked the previous one that I did. I was hesitant to upload it, but I'm really glad at the response and the feedback that you guys have given. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, I'll definitely continue to make them. Just let me know in the comments. Be sure to have all of my equipment linked down below. I have it on my Amazon storefront. And then I also have all of my outfits listed in the description box below as well. If you guys want to shop any of them, they're all from Gymshark and I am an athlete. So if you use that, thank you so much. It does give me a little bit of commission and I appreciate all of the support from you guys. I just wanted to share my face a little bit in this video because as you know, I do voiceovers for the whole workouts of the week. But these are just ideas and some motivation for you guys to get into your next week of workouts. If you want to switch things up a little bit or try a new split, anything like that. My current split looks like this. When I do a five day split, it's going to start on day one. We have glutes and hamstrings. And then on day two, we have shoulders, chest and triceps. Day three is quads and calves. Day four back and biceps and then day five is either an extra rest day or it's going to be a full body day. This is my bread and butter right now. I love my split and I feel like I've seen so much growth recently with kind of adhering to this type of split just works best for me. But of course, take this as motivation and tweak some things if you need to. If you want to do a three day split, of course, modify it to what works best for you. If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like if you guys want to see more in the future. But yeah, stop blabbering. Let's get into day one, which was Monday and it was a nice little leg day. What is up you guys welcome back to another week of workouts this week we have a five day split i am doing two upper body two lower body and one full body day and i'm just going to start this first leg day with a warm-up now i think we all know the importance of actually warming up before our workouts it's one going to kickstart our cardiovascular system and it's also going to warm up our muscles and get them ready for a more intense activity that's going to follow We've all heard of static and dynamic stretching. We typically will throw static stretching at the end of a workout, whereas we put dynamic stretching at the beginning of a workout. This is helping us to prime and prep our muscles and joints for the activity that we're going to be participating in. And you're just stretching through your full range of motion. I like to do a focus on whichever muscle group I'm going to be training. So here I have some leg swings. I'm doing a few little lunges and opening up my chest. A lot of times I like to mimic whatever workout I'm going to be doing throughout my warm up. So if you see me doing some hinges, that's probably because I'm going to be doing some type of hinge movement like a hip thrust so I do some banded good mornings at the start and these little frog stretches really help with getting those hamstrings prepped to go through a little demolition from some RDLs and after I'm warmed up I'm going to grab all the supplies that I need to get started in this workout so I'm going to be starting with some dead stop hip thrust which is just a different variation of a hip thrust you can do banded B stance constant tension there's so many different variations so with this I had a hard time trying to figure out how I was gonna get under the barbell because obviously I had a lot of weight on it and I couldn't move the box so ideally I would have a little bit shorter of a box to work with but I went ahead and added some plates under my barbell so I had a better range of motion that worked with my body and my mechanics obviously this is going to be different for every single person your height the length of your legs all of that good stuff but the best way for me to get under this was just to crawl under it honestly found that increasing the height of where my barbell sat where I was starting and stopping definitely helped because while I was doing this heavy weight I wasn't falling out of my range of motion and going all the way to the floor. I was quite literally about to pass away after doing my three sets of these and I was just laying on the gym floor because I had to scoot under the barbell to get out of it and it was a task. Now my hope with sharing my workouts of the week with you guys is to give you an idea of what it's like for me to be in the gym. You don't just see the Instagram workouts and you don't see the sets and reps but you can see how difficult sometimes the exercises are which I feel like is true for all of us. We just don't always really share it. And to be honest, you guys, y'all know that I just got back from a little vacation and I can't stress how necessary these breaks are. And for me, if I'm at home, I'm going to be working out. It's just part of my routine. But when I'm thrown out of my routine, I feel a little funky the first couple of days. But as time goes on, I'm so happy to not have to be at the gym. I don't ever have to, but you know, it's just like, it's a comfort place and it's somewhere that I do like to be. And I don't know if it's just my brain, but I always feel like once I have a break from the gym and I get back into it, I see gains out of nowhere. Like, 
like they just pop right back up. So I'm now setting up to do four by eight Romanian deadlifts. I love RDLs, you guys. These are my favorite exercise. If you were to tell me that I could only do one exercise for the rest of my life, I would choose RDLs without a doubt. With these RDLs, I'm doing a little bit more of a glute bias, which kind of depends on the hinge in your knee, but here we go. Boom, yes, she smacks the entire squat rack. Iconic. Next up, we have four by 10 landmine curtsy lunges. You guys, when I was trying to set these up for the opposite side, I was having a whole heyday. I was not doing well, but eventually I did get it worked out. But oh my gosh, I have a TikTok up and it was just trifling. Get a little baby rest, get my water in, and I'm getting ready to do some lateral lunges. I feel like there's so many ways that you can do lateral lunges. This is the way that just works best for me and my raggedy knees. But if you wanted to hit those glutes a little bit more, I would recommend maybe leaning into it a little bit so you can really get the full stretch in those gluteus. All right, and after we finish these little killers, we're going to move into some dumbbell sumo squats. See, do you see the pain in my face? I was not doing well, you guys. I did four sets of AMRAP, which just means as many reps as possible. I think I got to like 30 something on each of these and I was exhausted. Time for the next day. Good morning, it's time to go. We're just gonna be warming up our upper body, getting these shoulders primed and prepped and ready to go. I love to start my warm up with a nice little resistance band with some PVC pipes, all that good stuff. If you try to tell me that this outfit wasn't giving Neapolitan ice cream vibes, you're definitely wrong because that's what I was going for. I even had the chocolate space hippies on. I was doing the whole thing. Now, we know I'm not the biggest fan of chest workouts, but I figured let me try to add something in. So I did some box dumbbell chest presses. I'm not a pro, okay? This is not an instructional informative guide. This is just Libby doing her best and trying something new and getting out of her comfort zone, but I'm glad that I did it. It was not cute. It wasn't cute. We all can agree on that, but I did do it and I did my best. Okay, now I'm hitting you guys with the trick shot. We have four by 10 easy bar upright rows to overhead presses. Look at the back. Look at the shoulders. Honestly, my back and shoulders is probably one of my like most prized possessions because I work so hard on them. Babes, I'm quite literally about to fly away. Next up, we have some Arnold presses. We have four by eight of these. Yeah, I was humbled. I really grabbed some 30s thinking I could really do that thing. No, honey, drop the weight. Drop the weight. Oh my goodness. I really went out and showed out and it didn't go well. So I had to drop the weight and lose my ego. Well, here I am scouting for some dumbbells because it's about time to get ready to disrupt this upper body with some lateral raises and we're doing a drop set. So you're not just doing three by seven of these, you're going to do three sets and you're gonna do seven, seven, seven. So I'm grabbing a heavier weight, a medium weight and a lighter weight to do seven, seven, seven. 21 reps is one set. I'm not super proud of my form here. I know it's not as beautiful as it should be, but I'm gonna work on it. I was really exhausted. That's my excuse, it shouldn't be, but it is. So essentially here you're going to be doing three sets of 21 after you drop the weight and then you drop the weight again, then you're good to go. This wasn't part of the workout, okay? I just just decided to add some around the world and just for funsies, just for fun. All right, it's cleanup time. I'm putting back all 743 of my dumbbells and we're gonna get ready to go do some tricep pull downs on the little cable machine. That thing, it's it's gonna destroy us, but it's the last exercise. I've really been into my body weight tricep dips, but I said, you know what? Let me switch it up a little bit this week. Let's get some tricep push downs in. Okay, we're gonna do four by 10 of these and we're gonna obliterate the tries. See, when I get to the end of my workout and I have triceps to do, I just know I'm almost done, but it's so painful to get through it. We're gonna wrap this up and get into the next day, which is legs. Welcome to day three. I had to hop onto this machine and move the weight out of the way just so I could get started because somebody left it on there. Thank you. At least I'm strong, thank goodness. Yeah, I actually ended up just using the weight that was on there, but we're going to hop onto the leg press, do three by 10 of these, and we're going to pre-exhaust these quads, pre-exhaust these muscles, and get ready for the next exercises. When I do quads and calves, I like my legs to feel like they're going to fall off. Like they shouldn't be attached to my body anymore, which is why I wanted to hop on and pre-exhaust these. I sometimes do this with leg extensions as well. You might've noticed that I didn't show you the warm up for this leg day. It's basically the same as the glutes and hamstring warm up that I did prior. So in this one, I'm going to show you a nice little cool down that I do at the end of my leg day. It's just a little switch off, giving you a little taste here, a little taste there, you know. Now we're going to be setting up for some front squats. I like to do heel elevated front squats. I feel like this hits my quads just a little bit more. So I grab a couple little tiny weights and put them under my heel so I'm a little bit angled. I am going to be doing four by eight of these. Let's listen. Okay, shot again, low, 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 thank you. Okay, added some weight here. I was like, you know what, I am the Hulk. And then I added more, can you even believe it? And I said this in my last workouts of the week, but I honestly would limit myself because of my little brain thinking that I couldn't lift as heavy as I actually can. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, 
Am I the Hulk? Am I the Jolly Green Giant? I kinda did show out here, and I was kinda surprised that I did a plate on each side. I'm like, okay, okay, Libby, come through. Next up, we're going to get ready to do some Bulgarians. I know, I'm crying with you. All right now, I don't know if you guys know the easier way to get into a Bulgarian. I always put my foot on whatever box I'm on. Okay, and then I'm doing a stretch. I'm being a little bit extra here. I was a little bit scared to get started. It kinda helps to put your foot on a box and then have your knee down, put your front foot wherever it needs to be, and then stand up from there, other than trying to kind of gauge how far out you need to be and then putting your foot on the box kind of work reverse you know what i'm saying i know you hate me i get it i know we're going into three by 20 goblet squats this is not cute nor fun but it's necessary okay my little legs babes my little legs feel like they're gonna fall off this is a deadly superset. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know why I decided to do Bulgarians into goblet squats, but I would definitely recommend trying it out. If I made it through it barely, you can make it through it barely as well. Ooh wee. All right, we're gonna put up these, not me with the, okay, cinematic. Okay, Libby, the drama. All right, next up we have some walking lunges. These are also going to obliterate us because of what we just did previously. Since I'm already feeling restless from the previous superset, I grabbed a weight that wasn't gonna just take me out completely, all right? and I was already contemplating my life at this point, but we're going to do three by 12 of these walking lunges. It's not cute. I, I'm telling you, none of these workouts are cute, but they are doable with the right mindset. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put you through another superset. Yeah, just for funsies. Here I am angry at my little wrist straps. I was not happy, but thankfully that is the last exercise. We're going into three by eight sissy squats. You can do these anywhere, honestly. You can use a Smith machine. You can use a lot of different bars that you might find, but I just went ahead and did them body weight. And guess who this was? Was it my bestie? Yes, it was Mr. Ed. And I absolutely love that man. He is iconic. Now, just like a warm up is important, foam rolling and recovery and taking a little bit of time to stretch is also so, so important. There's so many benefits to using a foam roller or using a massage gun at the end of your workouts and for your recovery it helps to speed up your healing process and your recovery as well as really reducing the risk of injury and really letting those muscles breathe when they get tightened up the way that they do during our workouts I find myself foam rolling for quite a while after my workouts and I do a nice little static cool down you guys heard me talk about a dynamic warm-up we have a static cool down this is basically just stay put and holding these poses and letting our muscles stretch if you guys are previous athletes or former athletes like me you've probably taken a few tips and tricks from your previous sports, such as a warm up or cool down. A lot of this is from when I used to run track. Y'all, I had this out of body experience. Look at my ab. Look at it. It was cramped up. It literally was about to exit my body like a little demon inside of me. I was so terrified. I was like, what's going on? I tried to push it back into my skin because I was just mind blown. So basically eat your bananas, have your potassium, your magnesium, have your electrolytes, all that good stuff. I was so scared. I walked out. Um, but yeah, next day. All right, day four is a nice little back and biceps workout. We're getting all prepped and primed for this workout. We're gonna be hitting some heavy, heavy weight because we are strong, okay? So like you guys saw in my previous upper body day for shoulder chest and triceps. I'm doing the same type of thing here, warming up with a PVC pipe and also using a resistance band. I grabbed this and I do some little rows with it and I find it really, really helpful. After my warm up, I'm going to start with some pendlay rows. I always get asked about why I do pendlay rows and not barbell rows, but I usually do some single arm dumbbell rows, which is why I tend to do the pendlay rows since it's an overhand grip and it's also a nice dead stop. A few differences and similarities here for you. They're going to work the same muscles. It's honestly preference depending on if you're trying to go for strength or you're trying to go for muscle gain. Here we do our four sets of 10 pendlay rows. We're gonna go ahead and get started with these single arm dumbbell rows. I talked about this in my last workouts of the week, you guys. I would stop myself at like 35 pounds for these until I was like, let me try to go up in weight. Now I'm over here rowing 70s. I feel like I could go up, so I'm excited to see how high I can go because I've definitely built the strength up and I feel on top of the world when I do single arm dumbbell rows. But I will be throwing in a few bent over dumbbell rows here. So I'm going to be doing three by 10 of these and I just went with a nice little 30 on each side okay and I was working on that mind and muscle connection and feeling that whole movement all right we're going into some lat pullovers it's lap pull downs all right you guys so I'm setting up for some lap pull downs JJ Yo, <laughs> and Bronx are here and they're joining us today so we're gonna hop into three by ten lap pull downs look at the butterfly okay these two are doing the most behind me one moment I think I've seen the most progress in my lap pull downs because I can actually put videos side by side and you can just see how crazy my traps and my lats have gotten but we're gonna finish that up and go into four sets of eight to ten cable bicep curls 
curls. These be testing me, okay? Especially when it's the last exercise. I'm telling you, just like how triceps takes me out, the same thing happens with these bicep curls. But these bicep curls are going to wrap up this day and we're heading into our last day, which is going to be a full body Friday. And yes, she has the singlet on. If you say I look like a wrestler, you're somewhat right but I love my onesie. I warm up on a full body day. I like to do a mixture of both my upper body warm up and my lower body warm up because obviously that's how full body works. So PVC pipe, resistance band, and some little dynamic stretching on the floor. Now for this, I'm going to be starting with some trap bar deadlifts and I just did some warm up sets with tens on each side. You can honestly do a regular conventional deadlift. I just wanted to switch up the bar that I was using. Now after my warm up, I'm going into three by eight of these as my working sets. I added a little bit of weight, 55 on each side and just focusing on my form and my mind to muscle connection I really wanted to work on like functionality and using this as an explosive exercise so I'm exploding up from the bottom and taking my time going down after those deadlifts I'm gonna go into three by ten kettlebell swings I love kettlebell swings and sometimes I forget that they even exist but this is also a really nice explosive exercise where when you follow through that pattern feels so good to complete oh so once I wrap these up I'm feeling it in my hammies and my glutes and in my calves honestly my shoulders are on fire and we're gonna move into some groundwork when I say full body I mean full body so we're gonna start in this plank position do a push-up and then we're gonna go back hinge at our knees and at our hips and we're going to hit this little frog pose oh so it's three by ten of these and they might seem easy if you're doing just a couple of them but once you get into the repetition and you're following through with that flow oh my goodness it really tests you and next up we have three by ten alternating seated straight leg elevations now with these I'm holding a weight above my head and it's a little bit of a challenging one because I'm really focusing on stabilizing my core this one is really challenging to the hip flexors I will say and I have really weak ones so take some time on those definitely give them a try but we're going to get into these three by six Turkish get-ups because there's so many steps in one rep of a Turkish get-up I find myself sometimes just doing half reps but oh my goodness Turkish get-ups are amazing for a full body exercise and they definitely test your core and your upper body as well as your lower body to be honest I don't think that this is my absolute best week of workouts but I'm glad that I was able to show you guys even on the days where I wasn't completely feeling myself I did show up for myself and I did record and that's already a task in itself but after those Turkish get-ups we're gonna get into sprints I don't do a ton of cardio but I do love to add some sprints at the end of my leg days especially but I did do it after a full body day so I'm doing six 30 second treadmill sprints 30 seconds on 30 seconds off and I'm increasing my speed each time while I wish I could show you guys just a perfect week of workouts it's just not the reality for me and I know it's not the reality for a lot of people but I do always want to show you guys the authentic me and how I show up to my workouts although they might not be the best I'm glad that I do make it to the gym and that's the hardest part usually. I always want you guys to be able to see what I look like between sets, when I'm resting, when I'm stretching, all of that good stuff because what you see on social media is usually a highlight reel as we all know. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more of these workouts of the week. I do hope that this gave you guys a little bit of inspiration or motivation or just a little behind the scenes of how I am in the gym outside of just what you see on Instagram. But if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video and you guys can follow me every single day and keep up with me on Instagram at Libby Christensen. I will talk to you guys later.